decided I want to make a pirate ship because I've been watching all four seasons of Black Sails in a big lump and really enjoyed it. So I'm in a piratey mood, so I um, managed to pick up this kit. It's the 172nd scale Revel pirate ship. Normally retails for about $79.99 or above. This one, a model shop was selling it because it's got a big rip in the box, which I don't really care about, for 50 quid. So I thought it was a, a bargain. It's an absolutely massive box. There's my hand. <laughs> you see how big the box is. Um, so yeah, so it comes, it's 170 second scale. You get some various pictures on the side. Um, I know they also do this. This was um, a Zvezda kit. Uh, and it's also been done as the Black Pearl from Pirates to Caribbean. Um, and it seems to be a similar style of ship to their 1 350th pirate ship which I have built a long time ago. Um, remember, it was okay, it was it was a bit fiddly to do on that scale. So this one I'm hoping is gonna be uh, a bit more fun to do. It's gonna be a long-term project, so it's not gonna be one video with the build on it. Um, it was all bagged inside, I've just opened it to make sure everything's there. But you get an absolute shed load of parts, so you get things like the rigging. You get the little uh, launches. sails although you can get a uh, cloth sail kit which is just as much as the, the actual model kit it's really crisp lovely wood effect on the decking um, you get multiple parts as you can see um, you get rigging twine you get like black sail flag um, so yeah I'm looking forward to this one um, it'll probably be uh, like I say, not a step-by-step -step guide, but just examples of as it goes along. But uh, I think it'll be a good one. Interesting. Oh, making 32 cannon. Oh, man. And then i got to paint them. That would be fun. I'm going to start getting the structure good together. I've painted the decking, and quite a nice little wood effect on it, double level, and just blocking it out at the moment. Well, I've got the first deck parts on, side to the decks. These are an absolute pain to get on. They really need a lot of bending and clamping to get anywhere near to fit. Um, but they look good now it's on, so it's starting to look like a ship. Lots awesome of cannons in place. Okay, well the ship is coming along, so we've got a bit of the back end done. I've been painting the captain's cabin with picking out the gold, needs a bit of a tidy up. So it's coming along. Um, I thought I wanted some crew figures, this is one thing Revel terrible at, they never give you figures. Um, so my wife found these online sent off for them so they're by uh, Orion I think yeah Orion uh, English pirates 18th 18th century I presume it's meant to be 18th weird box it's in a, like a browser window with a terrible picture on um, it's quite a small box but the figures are actually really nice so you get four sprues two of each and some good sculpting on them some weird poses i mean some of them are on like obviously for desert islands there's a weird skeleton there that's much bigger than anyone else what you want to come see the pirates okay you go you to smell them um so you get that sprue and then you get another sprue this one has a cannon here with a cannon on. I got plenty of bloody cannons and um, they're all in battle, so I'm gonna use them, see what I can do with them. I don't know if he's drunk or something. Cat's gonna sniff the bottle. 
Um, so yeah, I think these will work well. So size-wise, they'll be great. Um, the nice hard plastic as well, so they should paint up okay. You interested? Me? Eh? No. She wants a lap. Um, so yeah, so that's good. So it's going to be a long-term project, but I think it's going to be good at the end of it. It's going to look impressive. This is a massive model. So I've painted the pirates. The right motley crew. Some nice detail on some of them. Some of them not so good detail. The skeleton, for some reason, is much bigger than he should be. I think they'll go nicely on the decking. I didn't bother using the cannon because I got far too many. Okay, so we got a little bit further. I've got the uh, launch on the boat. Got some hand railings up. Got the cannons in with their lots of recoil mechanism. Uh, the stairs are in place, the wheel. Um, this has already been one of my longest kits ever. <laughs> I've not even started on the rigging or the sails or the masts, but it's looking really good. I'm enjoying it so much detail on this. But, yep, so I'd update you. Well, I've finished the model. This was probably the longest time it's ever taken me to build a model. Um, probably, I think I started this well over a month ago. Um, I think it's been the most value for money model I've ever made because of the time invested in it. Um, sometimes the most annoying model kit. So let's have a look at her. So all the rigging's in place. I think it's rigging that would drive a a sailor mad because I'm not entirely sure it's all accurate as it should be. The instructions leave a fair bit to be desired. So it will show you putting one bit together and then you turn the page and it's showing you another bit but it's removed all the first bit so that you can see it and then it contradicts itself. So yeah, take your t if you're building this, take your time on the rigging uh, and just trying to get your best you can. Um, you get lots and lots of these sort of block and tackle things you've got to do. There doesn't seem to be quite enough, or I've done some stuff wrong. Um, but I think it looks really good. The, the rigging looks good, so you've got the figurehead in place. You can have a look at the ship. Uh, my biggest worry is that, that Maggie gets up here and just knocks it flying. Um, but yeah, so all the cannon ports are held open with ropes. All right. What do you want? Do you want a lap? So, um, yeah, so everything looks really good. You've got all the open cannon ports. Um, I've put the sailors on board so you can see there's various little scenes going on. Mm, so that's uh, Captain Jack Rackham um, from Black Sails just pointing the way. I don't know how he's got down there. I'm not sure he could on the real ship, but there we go. And then you've got all the... All the riggings on the sails. You got the black flag. Uh, I know there's a kit where you can get some cloth sails for this, but that would have been even more nightmarish. You've got the launch. You've got some sailors being a bit drunken. You've got the capstan. All the rat lines. The crow's nest. Um, I forgot. I don't know the name of these sails. They'll be, uh, you know... A main brace, I'm presuming. Stuff that gets spliced. Um, there's one pirate about to hit another pirate over the head. Uh, you've got all the detail at the back. This is an absolutely gorgeous kit. Um, I, I can't say enough good things about it. Um, take your time with the rigging. Enjoy making it. I don't know where I'm going to put it. It's absolutely massive. Give you an idea. Look. That's my hand. And they're one seventy-second scale figures. 
Um, it's gorgeous, really good. Uh, so we'll heartily recommend it. There is a black pearl version of this, you know, from Pirates of the Caribbean. That's a different figurehead, I think. Um, but I enjoyed making it. It's probably not 100% accurate. Like I say, I imagine any sailors looking at my rigging would just tear their hair out because it's very complicated. Um, I've got to find a nice shelf to put it on, but yeah. Uh, thanks for uh, watching. If you want to see more non-sci-fi kits like this, please let me know uh, in the comments. And please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks, sir. Bye.